Hello. Thank you for joining Matthews Digital. My name is Aaron, and today we're starting a new series on T24 programming. We'll be discussing T24 subroutines. T24 subroutines is a big topic in T24 programming. You can use T24 subroutines to perform different tasks. From simple tasks such as validation of user inputs on the screen to big topic like creating a local application. So we're going to see different types of T24 subroutines. And today's topic is going to be focused on version routines. And in version routines, we are going to see the first type of subroutines, which is auto new content routines. I'm going to show you how to auto populate content of a certain field using T24 subroutine. So for that, I've created this documentation. We are going to follow this documentation. So as the name suggests, auto new content routines are used to automatically populate content of a field when a record is opened. If you look at the requirements here, we have the bank would like to have account mnemonic automatically generated and populated for all newly created accounts using the version account MTD new AC. So our assignment today is to adapt this existing version based on these business requirements. That mnemonics to be generated should be in this format. So we have four letters followed by four digits and two letters. So this is the type of mnemonic that the bank wants to have auto-generated and automatically populated in the field of mnemonic of the account table. These are the steps that we are going to take. So we are going to create a routine. This routine is going to generate this ID and then automatically populate the field mnemonic with that ID. After creating our subroutine, we need to make an entry in pgm.file. So we need to register this subroutine in programs. And it's going to have a type S, which is subroutine. And we also need to define the application. So we're going to restrict our subroutines to be used only for account application. And then uh, we are going to define automatic a field number, mnemonic, and attach auto new content, our routine. Here I've created uh, this subroutine. It's a very simple subroutine. Let me take you through this subroutine. I named it AC Rand Mnemonic. This file I MTD common holds two functions which we are going to use to generate random letters and random numbers. We can generate our random code in this way. We are going to use our function to generate four letters, okay, because we need to have four letters. Then we are going to concatenate with uh, four random numbers and then finally we add two random letters, okay. So this is going to return an ID which looks like this one, okay but of course randomly generated four letters four numbers and two letters okay so our new is a dimensioned array which holds the current opened record if is defined in this i common so if holds the current field position and our current field position is going to be Mnemonic. If this field is empty, then we are going to populate it with the new ID. Otherwise, we keep uh, the existing uh, mnemonic. Okay? So let's give it a shot. Let me grab the name. So quickly here, I do jed mathis.pp. 
mtda surround mnemonic dot b okay let me paste uh, the source code control v it's properly formatted we do a file let's compile our subroutine so we do basic the name of our folder and the name of our, our subroutine okay compiled successfully then let's catalog good cataloged now we can move to the next step the next step is to create an entry in pgm.file so let's do that we log into t24 we do pgm.far or pf this is an abbreviation for pgm.far i and the entry needs to have the same name as our subroutine so we grab this Hit enter so the type should be s meaning subroutine auto generated mnemonic okay product you can say it's eb then our requirement says we need to restrict this to account application we validate okay it is it is authorized because we used a uh, comma version we can check yes it is authorized now let's move to the next step uh, there are two the two steps remaining so one we need to populate this field with mnemonic and then we add our the name of our subroutine in this field or to new content so let's do that we are going to open our version in input mode let's use a comma version so we don't need to authorize again um, the name of our version is account mtd dot new dot ac let's move to the field 50 Point one auto new field okay we are going to say mnemonic and auto new content we need to add our subroutine okay hit enter validate authorized okay we can view our version let's see quickly it's um, ac mtd dot new dot ac okay good fantastic so uh everything is okay good now let's test our version okay let's log out and log in again so our version is called account mtd dot new dot ac we want to open a new contract so we use function i and then let's get a new account number good so as you can see we automatically get this mnemonic populated okay if you go back we do it again we get a different id in this form okay let's um good category let's say one currency Let's open account in euro. 
we can name it chess man hutton current account okay let's do this good so our record is in exception so let's authorize our record so i'm going to log in like in, in another user So account exception. So account authorize this ID. Good. So the account is now authorized. Good. Now let's verify if we are to amend this account uh, if we, if the ID we change. Okay. So let's view it again. Account MTD dot new dot AC. Let's see our account. Now let's try to amend this record and see if we are going to keep this ID. So we use the same version AC MTD dot new dot ac i function id as you can see uh, the id is is not changing okay why it's not changing because if you look at our condition we say if r dot new this field does is is empty then we update so for now, this field is not empty, so we are not going to perform. Still, our routine is going to get invoked, but this condition will block it from using the new, the newly generated ID. Because when we open this record, it will have the ID already populated. Fantastic. So this is how simple it is. Uh, and by the way, we can also try to do it in in a in a browser and the result should be the same so let's try to do it in a browser okay we're trying to browse as well so our version is ac mtd dot new dot ac okay we can create a new account as you can see when you click on new, it automatically generates the ID. Okay. And it's the same. So let's see. So if we create a new contract, we get a new ID. Okay. So let's, let's create a new account for myself. 217. Category, let's say 6001 savings account. I want a savings account in euro as well. Let me validate. Yes. Okay. I can add savings account. So as you can see, we have the ID generated. I can validate. Good. So it works in a browser, it works uh, in classic. So this is how we can do that. So this is how we can automatically uh, populate content of a field. And you can commit. All right. Let's view. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you. So I hope you have enjoyed uh, watching this video. Uh, you now know how you can automatically populate content of a field uh, using a subroutine. In our next uh, video, we are going to look at uh, other types of subroutines, validation routines, 
uh, validation routines to perform two activities mainly to validate input of a user and also default some values. Then we move to input routine and authorization routines. Thank you. Please subscribe if you haven't. Share and like this video. See you next. Bye-bye.